I'm going to confess, I've always been the inquisitive sort. So I suppose it was natural for me to apply my curiosity to the Christian world around me. I wanted to know what God was after. What did he really want from mankind? So I asked a lot of questions. I got a lot of different answers. Finally, I turned to the source, the Bible. Over the years, I began to notice a common thread among Bible teachers. All of them seemed to share a common passion. Much of their teachings were aimed at positioning the people's hearts where they could receive the seed of Christ in a proper fashion. Now to accomplish this, they'd try to prepare the people so that their hearts became good soil to plant Christ's seed into. Remember the parable of the sower? Here's the deal. The heart must be good soil to receive the seed of Christ. Then the seed must be fed and protected until it would grow to bear the fruit of Jesus. Now, if all went according to God's plan, the character would begin to resemble God's. You know, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, all that stuff. Their greatest challenge was this. Many of the people they dealt with didn't really want their hearts messed with that way. I guess that's why Jesus said only a few would find life. The sowing of God's seed in the good soil of the heart is required for each of us or the power to create new life just plain doesn't work. So guess what this book is about? In search of real Christianity, make sure that your heart is a good place for God's seed to grow. Now, like Jesus told his disciples in Matthew 13, you can experience the mysteries of the kingdom and the things hidden since the foundation of the world. You're going to be amazed how simple all of this really is.